Okay, uh, I may have mentioned this, I can't remember if I did, but um, I went ahead and uh, sprayed down the engine bay with just typical brake cleaner to clean up a lot of gunk. Uh, an example there, an example there, an example there. Uh, you never know when things might need to be replaced in the future. Cleaned up the bell housing. Look how nicely that clamp came clean. Um, after I was done with that, um, I went ahead and um, started installing, swapping out the main um, uh, wire harness. And you could see uh, that a lot of it has been installed. And you could see where it's running uh, up and through here. Here's the old one. So um, the, the task now is to uh, basically take this leg right here and run it. Um, no, wait. This leg right here and run it back down there uh, behind the transmission where it plugs into the transmission. I will point out that this lifting this up to install a battery cable and this cable here um, this this cable needed to be changed out um, this one was this one was easy uh, easy to get to but lifting this up was a bear um, it, it basically um, just pulling these levers up and just yanking it up um, eventually did the trick but in the process uh, I broke off um, two of these tabs um, so that's why I had to zip tie this one down because uh, that holds this down, which locks the the fuse block in place. So um, trying to get to underneath here was not very easy. Um, in fact, it was quite challenging, but um, we managed to get it done. Um, and uh, let's see. So uh, basically at this point, I'm going to uh, fish this part of the harness uh, back behind the transmission. Um, next up after that, I did get a, since I have this all apart, I did go ahead and get a, um, replacement seal. Um, so, uh, that right there, um, I'm going to attempt to, uh, this seal. It was one of these deals where I figured what the heck I'm in there. Might as well go ahead and, and replace it. Okay. So, um, that's where we're at right now.